Hey everybody, it's Alex. You know, I'm here in a mega city of over 32 million people plus. Now, I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process. How we buy, can foreigners buy? How do you get financing? What an apartment actually looks like, what the prices are and everything in a mega city like this. And I have a good person, a very good person to help me. Her name is Sila. She's gonna be, I see her in the distance. She's coming towards me now. And uh, she's gonna help us out. And uh, well, hey, how are you Hello. today? Hi. <laughs> hey. Anyway, this is Sila. I really love looking at these models. You know, even as a child when I saw these, I was always really excited to see eventually this is going to be built. The people that are buying this, they, do they have the possibility of having a river view? Can they see the river from their apartments? Yes, that's the selling point of our property. Okay, <laughs> tell me about that. So this is the first part where right. we, we sold, and the, this is the second. second. Now we are selling this part. This part here, wow, yeah. okay. Uh, just look at, check out these buildings. Mm -hmm. Those five buildings are uh, towards the river. So these are river-facing buildings, yeah, right? This, this is the river-facing building. Okay, we're going to go out. I think we have a display suite you can show me. Yes. And you have a couple? Oh, this yeah. is going to be great. We're going to go down to the sales suite now and we're going to bring you guys along with us. So we're now in another part of the display suite here and this unit is 99 meters. Now, I was just asking Sila what the management costs. Now, for you condo owners out there, this is gonna be a little bit of a shock for you guys, okay? So in a unit like this, we'll call it entry level unit, something like this would, you know, management cost would be about $50 and upwards per month. What does a person get for the management fees? They're, I guess they get the lawn cut. And yeah, the, all the people do a lot of stuff, cut your lawn, and wash the walls. An apartment this size in Canada for 99 meters, you're probably looking, I haven't been there in a while, I would say close to 400 to 600 US dollars mm -hmm. per month. What would they do for you? <laughs> That's a good question. A lot of it's got to go towards um, insurance. And problems. insect control? Mm, it'll be there, but it won't be as glamorous <laughs> as it is here. Maintenance wise, they'll subcontract out maybe somebody to clean the outside of the building maybe once a year or maybe twice at most. Some bu bigger buildings, they might have mm -hmm. one security guard. Mm. But I've noticed, you know, especially here in China, when you go into a condo development or apartment development, there's usually a security guard there, there's usually the janitor, there's mm -hmm. a garbage man there on location. There's lots of people uh, servicing the apartment, even if you have, uh, some of them have like a little front office place where mm -hmm. if you have a question and you want to pick up a package, a lot of those there. But in North America, they really cut down a lot of the staff. You maybe get a concierge, one person, or a security person in the building, and that's about it. We've come down to an even bigger apartment here. Now, let me ask you this. When somebody wants to buy an apartment like this, mm -hmm. what's the process? How do they, if they say, I want to, you know, see, I want to buy this <laughs> apartment today. What do they, how do they do it? Do they put a deposit down? Yeah, they put it by 50,000 deposit 50, down. 50,000 deposit down, uh, R&B, yeah. After five days, they prepare their ID card, yep. their hookup button, and their right. marriage certificate. Oh, heavy stuff, okay. And uh, you your showroom mm -hmm. uh, So you went to the bank, you get the mortgage, or if you have all the money, you can just right. buy it now. You sign a contract, the house is yours. And it'd be interesting to understand how foreigners could buy here. So foreigners can buy, but the process is probably a little bit different. Uh, no, it's the same. If you want to buy it with 100% cash, mm -hmm. pay it, it's yours. Uh, if you want to <laughs> get mortgage, it's okay. It's okay too. You just get your ID card, your passport. The property is yours too. <laughs> 
Okay, one last question then. How long would a first time buyer or somebody new that's coming in here, let's say someone your age, how long of mortgage would they get? 10 years, 20 years? What do you think is the standard for a person? I got 30 years 30. mortgage. I, but you can do 20, you can do 10, that's by your choice. Let me try to understand this. If I'm gonna buy that apartment that uh -huh. we just looked at and it was 220,000, the bank would only lend me 20% of that or 80% of that? 80%. They will lend you 80%. So they'll lend me 80. I have to still come up with 20. Buyer. If you're a first buyer. So 80% and I can take that out on a 30 year mortgage. Yes. And what would the mortgage rate be right now? Three, five, seven percent How? Oh, for first buyers, 4.6. So that's very manageable. Well, thank you very much. What a pleasure it's been. You guys enjoy it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below. Take care.